name is Carissa Lear, and I'm one of the summer 2011 Diceo interns. My project this summer was on the impacts of ocean acidification on marine copepods and other crustaceans. Ocean acidification is a decrease in the pH of the oceans due to the rising levels of CO2. When the oceans absorb CO2, it changes the chemistry of the water, lowering the pH as well as concentrations of important compounds such as calcium carbonate, which many marine animals use to build their shells. This can significantly affect the growth and health of marine organisms. My experiments were predominantly on the marine copepod Calanus, which is very important in many marine ecosystems, including the Puget Sound. The first step was to collect them using a plankton net. Once the net was brought up, the catch was transferred to a cooler and then brought back to the lab for sorting. We looked through the catch, identified adult female Calanus copepods, and sorted them into jars. One female was placed in each jar. The jars were placed in boxes, which were then connected to the ocean acidification system at Northwest Fisheries Science Center, a branch of NOAA. The system provides a constant flow of water through the experiments at a controlled pH and dissolved oxygen level. Through a series of different kinds of filters, um, you can either keep CO2 in the water or get CO2 out of the water. Um, so these tanks all then have different concentrations of CO2 in them, which controls the pH. So this is where we keep the copepods when we're running experiments on them. Um, inside each of these boxes, there are six jars, which uh, each contained one female copepod and now have the eggs and the nopoli that hatch from the eggs from that female. Each day, the eggs and nopoli in each jar are counted and monitored until the end of the experiment, and the results from the two treatments are compared to see if pH and related ocean chemistry have an effect on growth and development of copepods. During my internship, I also helped out with the other experiments going on at Northwest Fisheries Science Center. So, um, we have a couple different experiments going right now. Here are some of the tanks, and the tanks feed them directly into these boxes. So, here we have some oysters, which are microscopic, <laughs> so you can't see them. <laughs> we also have some clams, which are also microscopic right now. <laughs> Um, we then also have some megalops, which are one of the stages of crab larvae, which you can see if we can find them. There they are. And most of these experiments are focused on growth or hatching success, um, growth rates and health of the different oysters, clams, or copepods to see if the, CO2, if the pH and the CO2 concentrations in the water affect their growth. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I really enjoyed my time as a Jaseo intern.